Good morning, everyone. Today, our focus is Ephesians chapter 3, verses 20 to 21. But before looking at them, it's worthwhile noting that these verses not only draw the preceding prayer of verses 16 to 19 to a climatic close, but in some sense, all that has been declared in chapters 1 to 3 about God's amazing grace and wonderful love for us the centrality of worship, and as Christians, our privileged position in Christ Jesus within the bigger picture of our membership in God's worldwide family. Verses 20 to 21, often used as a blessing, a benediction, declare God's goodness and grace. And the message version states it thus, God can do anything, you know, far more than you could ever imagine, or guess, or request in your wildest dreams. He does it not by pushing us around, but by working within us, his spirit deeply and gently within us. Glory to God in the church. Glory to God in the Messiah, in Jesus. And glory down all the generations. Glory through all millennia. These verses also call us to stop think about what are those things God might be wanting to do in and through us as individuals at this time. Likewise, what are those things God might be wanting to do in and through us as a community at this time? Whether as Life Church Manchester or those smaller communities we find ourselves in, whether that is a place, for example, Eccles, Peel Green, Sale, Stretford, or a group, for example, Life Youth. Moreover, these verses remind us that the God we've been reading about thus far in Ephesians is not only able to fill us with a deep sense of new opportunities and possibilities and the energy to realise them, but that he is able to transform them and in so doing to do so much more than whatever we ask or imagine. Have a blessed day.